G'day guys, so this is Winx. Winx is a female American Staffy. And we first met Winx, uh, it would be a little over a month ago now, when we first went to the pan and saw her. And um, the first thing that we noticed, obviously, was that she's cross-eyed. And she's got a really beautiful, gentle, soft face. But we quickly found that um, she was she didn't test very well with other dogs. So unfortunately for Winx, one of the biggest things that she missed out on in life is um, a very social upbringing. Or you know, she really needed some socialisation from a very young age, and that's where her owners have really let her down, especially with her um, vision impairment. Uh, socialisation is key from such young age. Ready to go? I think so. Just let her off, I think. Ready, darling? Okay, go, go on. <laughs> no, no. Look at that little butt. It's like wiggling as she runs. <laughs> Just like Miss Violet, she's similar. Um, you know, she's got severe um, vision impairment and the fact that she's been socialised from such a young age constantly is what's given Miss Violet the ability to be such a social dog. And unfortunately, poor Winx has, has missed out on that. Um, you know, and she is in the same category as Miss Violet. She's just as special as Miss Violet, and so she needs that special care. Um, it's something that, uh, you know, we feel she's going to give so much to her owner in the way of affection and love and, and uh, support. Uh, but she just needs someone that's going to give Winx the special care that she needs. Um, and the understanding. Yes, and, and, and really, um, you know, knowing the capability that she's got and, you know, the limitations that she now faces given the situation she's in now. Thank you. So Winx is looking for a, uh, a very special home and although you know, eye surgery, uh, we don't know whether that's an option or not yet, we do know that it's very invasive, it's a long road to recovery and quite frankly, I don't think she really needs to fit into that category of being fixed. She, she really just needs a special person with a big heart that is going to understand her and just give her the love and affection and the care that she needs. Uh, it's not a major thing for her as far as uh, her limitations on what she can and can't do. Yes, every now and again she bumps into things and uh, she's a little bit clumsy, but you know it's not a requirement for her to fit into a large pack of social dogs. She can just thrive with the right owner with a big heart who's going to care for her and do what's best for her. So, you know, weighing up the options, I think the best thing for Winx is for that really special person to come forward uh, sooner rather than later, because she is going to be a very rewarding dog. She's really, really special. Um, I think that, um, you know, for that, for that right person, she's just going to be such a, such a rewarding companion. No, look, like she's off lead here in this huge open paddock, yep. and all she wants to do is sit here and cuddle and kiss us. And yeah, both of get us. Get that affection. Some for you, you some know, for me. Some of the dogs that come in, as soon as they're off leash, bang, they shoot off, they run around. You know, that's what they want to do. But she really wants to connect, and I just feel, you know, trying to fit her in the bracket of let's fix her and, and put her in this other category. It's, perfect it's, dog. Yeah, it's really not she's, what she... She's perfect as she is. Yeah, it's really not what she... Um, I believe, I don't think it's the avenue she should go with her. Um, she, you know, she just needs someone who's going to accept her for who she is and love her regardless. Um, but yeah, not, not try and put her in that generalised bucket of what, what a dog should be. She's such a loving animal and... You know, she deserves that special someone, don't you, darling? Oh. Are we being selective? Fussy? She's a fussy leader. Oh, she's a gentle leader. Yeah, Look, gentle leader. It's, it's like a Scottish leader. Hand feeder her. Yeah. It's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
She's a lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, baby. I forgot she was a lady. <laughs> She's so beautiful, isn't she? She is. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're a swimmer. Oh, oh. See, oh goodness, oh yes. She made it. Oh, good job. So she is quite capable in the, yeah. some of those things, although some of that might have been a bit of a fluke. But yeah, uh, Miss Violet does the same thing. Yeah. She'll jump over, um, yeah. like when we had that ditch laid out. Um, but then, you know, on some occasions she'll fall in, you know. But look at look at that even. Like Joey started howling and she she ran up there, got halfway, and then just wanted to come back and get more love. Yeah. You know, what dog does that? Yes. Without any training. Yeah. You know, that's what she wants to do. She wants the contact. She wants the love. She wants the connection with someone. It is a very special thing. You don't always see this in dogs. A lot of time you have to work for it. You can tell she is just starved of a special person to call her own. Uh, she really wants it and I think she deserves it. Absolutely. I think, I think that, you know, we, we need to find someone who is willing just to take her on and accept that, you know, she's going to be the only dog in their life and they're going to, she's going to love them for forever, aren't you darling? Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Someone will come for you darling. Yeah, yeah they're out there. Yeah, I know. Good girl. So the reports that we get from the shelter and Dee is that um, all the staffy breeds um, do find it difficult to find homes and that's because of the perception of this breed. And, you know, unfortunately, I strongly believe that they are very misunderstood and misrepresented. Uh, they are amazingly affectionate, loyal dogs, and they are really, really good family dogs. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that, uh, combined with the fact that she is a, a muscly American Staffy, she's also cross-eyed and got vision impairment, so she's getting overlooked at the pounds. You know, pe uh, people are uh, just not even giving her a, a second look because of those things, which is really, really sad. So, you know, we, we really need your help to try and get the word out there to find Winx her special home because she really deserves it. So please share this. If you are looking at getting a dog, um, get in contact and at least consider her. Come out and meet her because you'll fall in love with her. Um, it's really important to us that uh, we find Winx her special place in the world because she really deserves it. Look at that face. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so kissable, it's isn't really it? Kissable like, look at that. She kisses your back. You just want to give it a big kissy whizzy. And she kisses your back too. She does, she? yes. Okay, yeah, look how gentle she is. I know.